voices in my head, they counsel me, they understand. Hello, I am the Atheist Gamer, and today I'm just doing this during my free time. You know what, um... I saw this one video, and I figured I might be repeating the exact same thing that I said dozens of times. But I figured, oh, why not? I mean, you guys enjoy me making videos on on feminists. And this particular is good enough for you guys to masturbate to. You need more anti-feminist wank material. I'm giving it to you. I don't need feminism, because I believe that men and women are already equal. Ah, you should probably stop there. Because, um, that's all the things you need to say. Just, just make one line. Just, just, just that one line particular. I don't need feminism because I believe men and women are equal. That's the only thing that you need to say in that particular video. So... We should just end it right there. I am the atheist gamer. Peace up. <laughs> oh, now, now the video is gonna be a lot longer than this, isn't it? You're gonna say some stupid shit. I don't need feminism because men are the stronger sex. In physical strength, yes, we are physically stronger than you. I don't need feminism because if a woman was meant to do the job that a man can do, a woman would already be doing it. You act like these. You know, these certain fields out there that just kicking women out just because they're women. Like, ew, we don't want another female NASCAR driver, now do we? You know, it's not like they have little to no interest in NASCAR in the first place. Or any particular job that requires them to put their life on the line. I don't need feminism because I believe in supporting the degradation, exploitation, and abuse of women everywhere. Now you're just putting words in people's mouths. No anti-feminist is ever going to say that. I don't need feminism because ultimately, I hate myself. Well, if I was wearing purple lipstick and I was another lacy green clone, I probably would hate myself. And other women. So I know I started this video out on a very controversial- actually this entire video is going to be controversial. Th that's why you disable your ratings and comments, my dear. Because you know that someone out there is going to point out on your bullshit. And I'm one of those people who's going to point out on your bullshit. But I wanted to do a video on why meninism and female meninists are just people, like females who don't support feminism, why they piss me off so much. I know far too many women who own or support meninism, like they own the merch, and they support meninism or they just don't support feminism at all. It really grinds my gears because just because you don't need feminism does not mean that someone else in the world does it. Wow, that's bringing fucking logic right there. Um, what is it, circular logic? Yes, yeah, I'm, I'm assuming this is circular logic. Um, just because you do not need braces doesn't mean that other people don't need braces. Therefore, you don't need braces. Just because you don't need an iPod doesn't mean that other people don't need an iPod. Therefore, you need an iPod. This logic can go for anything. Okay? And so many- I feel like so many people under- like, misunderstand what feminism is supposed to be. This, this is- this is the exact same thing that every feminist has ever said about how these women are not supporting feminism because they don't understand it. You know, all those women who support menism, they never really talk to a feminist. They never really study upon what feminism is. You know, they never, you know, judge the entire movement based on actions or their own belief system. No, 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 no. They just simply look at the word feminism and be like, oh, it's man-hating. That's, that's your only conclusion right there, is that these women are confused. I mean, holy shit. You're like the 100th feminist that I've encountered that said this exact argument. Because so many bitter women who just misunderstand what feminism is supposed to be go around saying men are what's wrong with this world, women are better, like are extremists, and that's why people don't understand what feminism is. 
But when we bring up some evidence, some quotes made by some feminists that do in fact hate men, the very first thing you're going to do is denounce them as true feminists. Because that's all you got. <laughs> this is what every feminist do. Feminism isn't about man-hating. Look at all these quotes made by feminists. Oh, that's not what all true feminists are about. I don't know them. I've done this many, 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 many times, my dear. You're no different. The only difference is you got purple lipstick. I'm coming here to tell you that feminism is not about degrading or devaluing men. To call a man an animal is to flatter him. He's a machine, a walking dildo. I'm sorry, my dear, but I have plenty of counter evidence to show you. That feminism is not about for equality, but bashing men. Like, you feminists are almost on par with ISIS. It is not about making women seem any stronger or any better. Women are not better than men. Men are not better than women. Okay, feminism is about proving that males and females are equal. Ban bossy. Does that ring a bell? If you require the word, a word, to be banned because certain women cannot handle it, then how the fuck do you expect us to believe that women are equal to men? If we need to roll out the red carpet for women and fuck the men, then how do you expect us to believe that we are equal when you're getting special treatment? And the funny thing is, you won't deny that you enjoyed special treatment. You know, you're not going to give up your, your special treatment as a woman. Because you are so blind to your own goddamn privilege. So that means, to the advantage of females, getting paid equal wages. To the advantage of males, Women getting equal sentences in prison. Really now? Feminists are focusing on that particular problem. You know, there's not a massive outrage about that last time I checked. But you know what? There is a massive outrage about it. Manspreading. For example, if a woman kills someone, she should be put into jail for the same amount of time that a man would be for the same crime. But then again, women should be paid the same wages for the same jobs. They do! The thing is they earn less. And don't tell me it's because of their gender! Feminism just doesn't- isn't just directed towards women. Feminism also speaks out about the inequality that men face in the sense that they are not taken seriously if they get raped, if they get, you know, um, stalked or if they get like anything that would be taken seriously if it was a woman who was experiencing the same thing but you got no proof of that we don't see feminists focusing on that we see feminists focusing on things like the wage gap and the one in five myth you know the entire you, you know emma watson's speech about the he for she not once has she ever mentioned about the rights of men not once and everyone just applaud like fucking dolphins! I don't believe that you actually care about men's rights. I believe you only care for your own. You're only saying this to save your own behind. For some reason people seem to think that women are not capable of murder, rape, um, like a crime in general. And people need to realize this, that it's not like... Feminism is not about proving that we're better, it's about proving that we're equal. I wish more people understood that and more women especially did not take feminism as an excuse to try and belittle men because that's not the point of it at all. Is that why feminists tell men not to rape? Because apparently we're not being taught not to rape. That we do not understand the, the meaning of consent according to you. Yeah, you're not trying to belittle men. You're not categorizing men as automatic rapists. No, you're not. You're just telling men that they need to stop raping. 
Because, you know, it's not like all men have their morals. And it just pisses me off on, on this side of things. It pisses me off to see women degrading men and also degrading other women. Like, what are you doing? Do you not love yourself? And then it pisses me off to see women who say that they don't need feminism or like they're a meninist, they support the meninism movement. Great, another feminist that do not understand what satire is. Because I'm gonna find my phone and I'm gonna go through a meninist account and show you why it is not supporting anything decent. It is literally just mocking feminism, which is uh, so stupid. Holy shit, it's amazing how many feminists have a lack of sense of humor. Okay, now this is a bad idea. It's basically like this meninist account kind of just turned into like one of those typical stupid accounts. Okay, uh, bad idea. Let's not. But honestly, meninism and the meninist accounts and stuff literally just mock feminists. They mock women. And that's, it doesn't make sense to me why a woman would support meninism because by supporting meninism or not supporting feminism just in general, you're literally supporting sex trafficking and rape and abuse of women everywhere. Since when does feminism or you know, not being a feminist is synonymous of in, in favor of rape or in favor of sex tra trafficking? Trafficking, my, my bad. Since when? You see, the reason why these, fe these women are support in menism is because they understand that this is a, the concept of parody. They're making fun of you. They're making fun of your extremist views. I know you want to deny that your views are not extremist, but they are extremist. You just don't want to admit it. And these feminists, I mean these menists, are really pissing you off, isn't it? And it's good that they're pissing you off because you feminists have no sense of humor. Like we could tell you a joke and you wouldn't laugh. The only thing that wouldn't make you laugh if we made fun of men. And of course, that's not sexism. Ultimately, you're supporting like the degradation of yourself. Why would you, why, why would you do that? I just, I don't understand. Like genuinely, it concerns me to see women like wear meninist merch and just not support feminism. Never heard of being an egalitarian because there are plenty of people who are egalitarians. <laughs> I mean, it's not. It's, it, it doesn't take a fucking genius to know that you do not have to be a feminist in order to be in support of equality. That's what egalitarianism is there for. And like I said earlier, just because you don't need feminism doesn't mean somebody else in the world does it. Like, I am not severely oppressed. But that does not mean that there is not a woman. That does not mean there are millions of women in this world who currently are being sold into sex slavery, sex trafficking, human trafficking. They are being brutally beaten, murdered, raped, just exploited horribly. But just because I'm not experiencing that does not mean that somebody else isn't. If you care about this so much, then why don't you just help them? You know, instead of sitting on your fucking ass all day, you just... Tweeting about beauty products. <laughs> uh, I know I shouldn't, you know, put you into this stereotype where you know you feminists enjoy, you know, makeup and shit. Let's face the facts, though. You're not gonna do jack shit about it. Instead, what are you focusing on? Man spreading and trying to bend the word bossy. So you're right. I don't need feminism myself. But somebody else in this world does. So for that person, that woman that can't speak up for herself, I'm gonna do it for her. And that is what feminism is. It's not about mocking men. It's not about proving that we're better or we're like the superior sex. It is about fighting for those who don't have a voice. That's why you're here on YouTube. To accomplish nothing. It is about proving that we're equal in all aspects, whether it's an advantage to us or not. And if somebody is gonna come up to you, claim that they're feminism, and just bitch about men, and 
talk about how females are the most superior sex, then they're not a feminist. Once again, you're using the no to Scotsman fallacy. There are plenty of feminists out there that do hate men. But once again, you're gonna tell them that these people are not true feminists. Therefore, we shouldn't listen to them, but we should listen to you! <sighs> you know, if you don't brush your teeth, you're not a feminist. If you eat meat, you're not a feminist. If, if you, you know, take a shit on Sunday, you're not a feminist. I mean, it's the, it's the exact same thing with Christians, you know. You know, if a Christian does that, you know, he's not a true Christian. If a Christian does that, he, he's not, a, you know, a true Christian. You know, only true Christians do this, only true Christians do that. It's all the same. They are not a feminist. Don't get it confused. That's really all I have to say in this video. I feel like I have more to say. That's kind of like the majority of my thoughts. Like, just... Whatever. If you don't agree with this, I don't care. Um, I'll probably disable the comments and the ratings. 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 This comes to shove that you do not want to have a rational discussion. It comes to shove that you do not want to be proven wrong. You want to spot out your nonsense and pretend that you are right. Well, I have more than one way to contact you. There's still Twitter, Instagram, Google+. You're probably not going to respond. But hell, it's worth a shot. So, I'm going to be leaving a couple links in the description to pretty much prove my point. I am the Atheist Gamer. Peace, the game out.